So, let me tell you what. Let me see if I can fit my phone right here. I'm like, literally, <laughs> that's, that's just not gonna work. I was gonna try to squeeze it into my couch cushions, but. Maybe you can just, I'm just gonna hold your hair, I guess. Um, Last night was School of Prophetic, and wowza, wowza, man, there was so much just amazing goodness, awesomeness that God did last night. It was incredible. Our guest speaker, Stephen, always just on fire. Um, there was also two guys from another church that came and visited. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be cool if I like said who they are. That's why I'm also not saying Steven's last name. So, but all of them were so good. Just so good. Just like great examples of you know, just a good walk with God. And it's just very exciting. It's exciting for me at least to like see people like so on fire. It just like it stirs my pot even more my my holy spirit gets wiggling inside of me like girl let's go after it too and i'm like i want it um thank you so good i had words spoken over me that i'm still just like and then um even more deliverance for myself last night which was amazing and it's just so funny how god works because the night before last night, I was sitting in this spot and doing my Bible study. This is my Bible study spot until that back corner becomes my Bible study area. But I'm like sitting here doing my Bible study. And, um, I just like felt deliverance on my heart. Like, I, you know, I want to deepen my relationship with God and there's more deliverance that needs to happen in my life. Um, just from all different kinds of things. And then last night, um, when I was getting prayed over, um, that happened. I got delivered from more things. So I'm just feeling blessed the way that God has everything planned out and the way that he softens me and prepares me for these things. Um, he's just so gentle. He never, he always, yeah, he always just prepares me. So I just, I'm not caught off guard and I really love God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so good. So now I'm just doing a Bible study. I um, I have something in the works. God has something in the works. I'm excited. I'm nervous. And I'm just being led by the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to walk in obedience. It's not easy to walk in obedience. The whole dying to self. And... You know, stepping out in faith and not fearing what tomorrow is going to do and just taking the steps that God wants you to do in the moment on your walk in obedience with Him is, um, it can feel like a lot, but that's, you know, also where your faith comes from, that He's with you and nothing can happen to you if it's His plan, like nothing's going to steer it away or corrupt it or anything if you are walking in obedience with God. So that's a treasure. I just realized how covered in dog hair I am. I've been loving all my doggies all morning. I also have dog hair all over my couch. I need to wipe my couch down. But um, so I'm about to get into studying um, kind of what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do right now and just getting more knowledge on it. I When I'm feeling led in a big way about things, I love just diving in to truth into truth and you know see, seeing what god has to say about it and waiting and lis listening for him to talk with me and just lead me more through it um that way i'm not just like received that message now let me do this on my own you know i know i want to be like i heard you now now teach me how to do it show me how to how to take these steps and to like work walking out your plan god so i'm going to be doing a lot of studying i also messaged my pastor she is amazing and just walks with the holy spirit and it's just the most beautiful thing i have ever seen in my life so um i messaged her today too and was just like hey i need direction if there is direction in this if there even is direction in this this could totally just be a spirit 
led thing where I'm just going to have to listen to the Holy Spirit, but she has just this wonderful relationship with him. So I thought I would give a whack at that, see if I can get any other information out of her that um, the Holy Spirit puts on her. So, but other than that, I will be in truth trying to figure that out and I can't wait to eventually share it with you. I honestly don't know when that's going to happen. Mm. But it's definitely going to happen. So, whoa. Read it. Um, anywho, so that's how my morning is going. I made myself a little coffee down there. We don't drink or eat on the couch. So, it's down there. I am then meeting a girly friend for coffee and fro yo at this super cute spot. So, I'm going to do that around 11. And then after that, I think my husband's going to meet me at a Christian bookstore that I've been really wanting to go into. I've been, I'm pretty sure I've been in there a couple times, but I've just wanted to go in there for months now. And um, today looks like it's the day that we're going to go in. I don't know what I'm going to find in there. Like I have everything that I could ever need. I mean, I have this Bible. I have this one my illustrating bible i've got so many different notebooks so many different notebooks i always feel like anymore though i have a huge thing of pens and i just ordered more because these guys are kind of running out they're just and then some of them are too light to like really show up in my bible or on paper it's too hard to read because it's really light and bright um so i need pens with a little more depth that are still cute so ordered that off of Amazon. Also ordered these little paper clips for my Bible, but they're in the shape of crosses and they're rose gold, so they're pink. So that's super cute because I am in so many different parts of my Bible right now. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I'm guaranteed y'all are, but like I have three bookmarks already in it. And now I'm using like pens and other things to keep other pages that I have open that I haven't finished because I feel like God is just like, girl we need to go here we need to go here and i don't want to like lose the spot where i was at because i'm like i was getting so much though god but he always gives me so much more so it's just yeah so that's what's going on for today and i don't know what i'm gonna do after that i think probably walk my dogs but we'll see how the weather holds up it's not been as nice lately so yeah well i'm going to finish my time with god and then i'm gonna get my day going so i'll see you guys at the coffee place bye Hello. 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 Okay, I'm back. So my little coffee date was so sweet. Absolutely love her. And now I am at Valley Village. Um, we went to, well, I went to, my daughter went to the Christian bookstore, but they didn't really have anything there. My husband did meet us. He's pulling it right now. And we got him a new cross necklace because he's been wanting a cross necklace for a while now and so we finally got him it and now we're at that village let the hunt begin but i'm going to show you his necklace real quick and that's his necklace Ooh. and it's got that lord's prayer on the back not that you can read it look at that can we even focus on this oh there you go it's so small that looks good. Okay, we're back. Um, I'll show you everything that we got once we're at home. I ended up finding a Rebel Espresso machine. It's a little lower grade one, but I don't need, I don't need, I do not need anything fancy. The bougie in me is like, Oh, get the one with that has the grinder and this and this and that but girl doesn't need it girl wants it girl doesn't need it so I got 
that one. Um, and then I also got my Breville Juicer too. So super good brand. I'm hoping they work. <laughs> um, the only reason why I had confidence enough to buy that kind of thing at Value Village is because I think it was maybe a year and a half ago, I bought an ice machine from Value Village and I absolutely love it. Like I'm obsessed with it. I use it every single day. I got it an amazing pricing with these machines. They're $13.99 each, so freaking steal. So I'm gonna clean those at home and then maybe I'll go to the grocery. Maybe I'll go grocery shopping today. Tomorrow's my grocery shopping day, but maybe I'll just do that today and get it out of the way and then I can have a free day tomorrow. Wait, is today Friday? Today's Friday, today is my grocery shopping day. <laughs> Wowza. Okay, so maybe I will go get juice stuff so I can make Brandon and I juice for tonight. I found all these really yummy juice recipes, so healthy, delicious, and to like make us yummy, fun mocktails. So I'm gonna go get some of that stuff while I grocery shop today. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be exciting No, I'm so excited. Just had to clean it really good, like really, really good. I'm gonna run it through the dishwasher, or at least the pieces that I can, and yeah, but I'm gonna get going. He wants to go to Applebee's, so we're headed over there. I also need to get gas. So you guys at Applebee's, get those Wong Town chicken tacos. Applebee's. Okay, so I don't know if I have already talked to you guys in the apartment. I feel like I might have. Uh, if not, we're home. I've been home. I already cleaned the juicer. I actually made myself some juice already too. We did watermelon, blueberry, and lime, and it's really good. So, got that. I also cleaned the espresso machine, and that's good to go. Everything works on it. So, steals, steals. Each one was $13. So that one's awesome. And then we also got some clothes. This is a dress that I found. I don't know what brand it is. Lux, Luxology. So I got a Luxology dress. Don't know what that is, but I thought it was decently cute. That's what it looks like. And you can like wear it off the shoulder too, which is really cute. that for almost nine dollars pretty cute Brandon got a pair of pants they still have the tag on them that's what he got they're pretty nice they look pretty light too like when I hold them up they're see-through so I think he can actually wear these when it's a little warmer out and not die so that's good for him because he's a sweat machine Oh, and then I found this really cute black denim jacket. And it's like, it has a very like retro vibe to it. So this is the denim jacket. It's a men's, at least it was in the men's department. And it's oversized, but that's pretty much all I wear is oversized jackets, so. But I really like the sleeves. And I, just, I like the overall fit. See how it kind of like comes up and it's just like really thick and then tapered. I think that's super cute and just like retro-y. I love it, like super vintage feel. So I am having fun with jean jackets or about to have fun with jean jackets and I'm like redesigning them and adding things and all that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that to this one because I just really, really like how it sits, but who knows? I might get a spark up my butt to do something cute with it. But I just thought it was really unique. It's not a normal cut and it's really heavy. Like it's a, it's a really good jacket. And then I got just two plain men's t-shirts because I love wearing men's baggy clothes and I like them really big because as you can see, this one is long. 
I could wear it as a nighty, which is basically what I love wearing baggy t-shirts as. I love wearing them to bed. And then in the summer, because these two that I got are so big and long, I feel like I could get away with wearing them as a t-shirt dress with some cowgirl boots and that kind of stuff as just a super easy fit. And then I got this graphic Pony Express shirt. I really like the color. It has a lot of like vintage vibes to it too. And this one's also, as you can see, like super duper oversized. I think this would be so cute, cowgirl boots in the summer. And then like that jean jacket for if we go out at night for like a date. Well, I think that would be so cute. I need to get more cowgirl hats though to style all these cute outfits. And then we got this, this dress is so cute. I wish I had this in my size so I could twin with my daughter. But isn't that the cutest little dress? It's so precious. I love it. It's so cute. This is cowgirl boots. We're gonna have to get her some more cowgirl boots too. She wore the crap out of her last two pairs. Um, and then, this cute little romper. I did find a dress that matched this romper for her. It also has pockets, isn't that the cutest? But I didn't like how short the dress was on me. Um, I feel like it was even shorter than these t-shirts that I would wear as dresses. So I just don't like, I have a booty and I feel like you can't really tell that I have a booty until like I try to wear a shorter dress or a skirt and my butt is just like literally hanging halfway out, like quite literally hanging halfway out. So yeah, that's what we got. And I love it all. Um, all the t-shirts I got were under $6. So that was really good. They also had a lot more of these vintage like Pony Express shirts, but I wasn't too sure of some of them. They're questionable to me. So but I'm very, very, very happy with what we got. I'm super stoked that I now have an espresso machine. Definitely gonna be popping on Amazon, ordering some different grounds for that. And then the juicer because it's just fun. It was actually so fun making the juice too. Jalen really enjoyed it as well. Um, I only used about a quarter of a watermelon and it was all the way up to here. And then maybe a quarter of the blueberries that I have. So it actually makes quite a bit. And it wasn't near as loud as I thought it was gonna be because I know that some of them are super loud. So totally worth it. I feel like we got nothing but steals today. Nothing but steals. So I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because I'm making some dinner for everyone we're gonna pop on some sort of movie that brandon's been wanting to watch so it's time for family night and snuggles and passing out we are all pooped thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next vlog bye guys